Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to dive into five tips for improving your portrait edits inside of On One Photo Raw. On One Photo Raw is the all-in-one editing solution for your photography, combining the best of Lightroom and Photoshop into a single application. From raw processing, creative effects filters, masking, retouching, and much, much more, On One Photo Raw can improve and speed up your photography workflow while ensuring you're creating the images that you've been envisioning. Learn more about On One Photo Raw by heading over to our website at www.onone.com. And in the meantime, let's dive into five tips for improving our portrait edits. My first tip for better portrait edits is to use the Color Enhancer filter inside of Photo Raw to quickly fix skin tones. We can see with this image that the skin tones are just a little bit too warm. So we can fix them really easily just by going into the Effects tab. We'll add a filter. And because we want this applied to our portrait subject, I'm just going to choose People, and then we'll choose Color Enhancer. And that will automatically mask in that Color Enhancer filter into our portrait subject. And typically when I'm modifying skin tones, I like to start with my white balance first. So let's head down to this temperature slider here. Let's just pull it back a little bit. That'll cool things down and help fix those bright, warm tones within our skin. And then I'm going to go down to this color range section. I'm going to grab my orange color and I'm just going to desaturate it a little bit. From there, let's just brighten up those oranges a little bit to give a little bit more luminance into our skin. So let's check out the before and after. And with that one color enhancer filter, we fixed those unnatural warm tones within our skin and improved the look of the portrait. My next tip for better portrait edits is to smooth the skin within your portrait to get rid of any imperfections or blemishes. Typically when we're photographing portraits, the client wants to look as best as possible and by smoothing the skin, you can help bring that vision to life. So let's go into our portrait tab here. It's automatically going to detect the face within our scene. And with just the default portrait AI skin retouching, if I turn this off and on, You can see it's doing a great job of smoothing the skin while maintaining all of that natural texture and detail within the photo. So to make it a bit more noticeable, I'm going to pull up on this retouching slider all of the way and make it a little bit more intense. Remember, you can always adjust this to fit the image that you're modifying. I'm also going to head down into my mouth section here, and I'm just going to pull up on the lip vibrance a little bit and the brightness. That's just going to brighten up the lips and give it a little bit more color. So if I turn this Portrait AI skin retouching filter off and on, it's doing a great job of again smoothing that skin while also maintaining that natural texture and detail that was there in the original photo. My next tip for better portrait edits is to use radio filters or gradient masks to apply local adjustments into specific areas of your portrait in a natural way. So with this portrait here, it's a little bit underexposed in the area where her face is at. So let's go into our local adjustments. I'll add an adjustment. Let's just pull up on the midtones quite a bit. And we'll add in some contrast to make sure things aren't flat. From there, I'm just gonna grab my masking bug. I'll just drop this down. I'll make it about the size of her face there and then I'll feather it out a little bit to make it natural. And so with this one local adjustment, we turn this off and on. We've brightened this area within the scene and it's really creating a much more natural, appealing portrait. Another tip for better portrait edits is to use a local adjustment to make the eyes pop and stand out a bit more within the scene. So let's add an adjustment here. I'll just rename this Eye Fix. And within our local adjustments, we have this very handy style, this magic eye fixer. Let's just choose that. That's gonna brighten up the exposure and also ensure that the whites of her eyes appear natural. I'm just gonna use my masking brush and I'll paint this into her eye here. Now, if it's a little bit too intense, we can always modify that opacity there and make sure it appears natural. 
But with that one local adjustment, if we turn this off and on, it's doing a great job of making sure that the eyes are a prominent feature within that portrait. Now with just those two local adjustments, we could just go into the effects tab now, add a filter, we could just add a black and white. Let's use one of my favorite styles, red. And we could have a nice dramatic black and white portrait with just three adjustments. One adjustment lightening the face, another adjustment brightening the one adjustment brightening the face, another to fix the eyes, and then a quick black and white filter. Let's check out our original and then after. My next tip for better portrait edits is to use local adjustments to swap the lighting in the scene to give some separation between the background and the subject. With this portrait here, we can see that the portrait subject itself is a little bit underexposed compared to this relatively bright background. So I'm just going to hit K on my keyboard. I'm going to grab my super select AI tool. I'll select the portrait subject. And I'll just add in a mid-tone boost to ensure that she's bright within the scene. And so with our local adjustment here, you can see it's really helping to illuminate that portrait subject within the image. From there, let's keep using our super select AI tool and let's apply a local adjustment to the area surrounding our portrait subject. So I've just darkened the area surrounding the portrait subject. Let me just modify the opacity to ensure it's not too dark. And now if we check out the before and the after, we've swapped the lighting to ensure that we have some separation between our portrait subject and a relatively bright background. Those are my five tips for better portrait edits. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.